Once upon a time, Como 1907 saw themselves bankrupt and relegated to Serie D in 2004. Fast forward to 2024 and after being bought out by the Hartono brothers, Como 1907 have been promoted back to the Serie A for the first time in 21 years. With Cesc Fabregas at the wheel, Como have struggled at the start of this season. Earlier this week, Como picked up their first league win of the season against Atalanta, winning 3-2 away from home. And with the unfortunate news of new signing Rafael Varane retiring at age 31 this week, we will be looking towards the other new signings in Sergi Roberto, Alberto Moreno, Pepe Reina and Nico Paz to help us really kickstart Como season and try to win as many trophies as we possibly can along the way. So without further ado, we're going to dive straight into this rebuild of Como and see how we get on in Season 1. Starting off with Season 1, I don't think we have much funds available. As you can see, there's only £6 million in the current transfer budget. We're going to have to be quite precise with who we try and sign. We might have to offload a couple of players if we want to sign some new players for this squad. For this Como rebuild, we're going to be going for the Tick Attacker Tactical Preset. As you can see, we're also going to be playing a 4 triple 2 This is the default formation for Como in FC25. And you know what? I haven't used it yet on this game, so I'm going to test it out. Normally, I like to use wingers, but you know, because this is the preset that they already have, we're just going to go and test it and give it a go. So it kind of makes us sign different players in different positions than what I normally use, because I normally use wingers on most of my career modes. Looking through this squad of Como, there's actually some decent players in this size. Obviously, look at Pepe Reina, age 41. He is retiring at the end of the season, so hopefully he can just give us one more season in between the sticks, and hopefully he can do a good job for us. Alberto Moreno, another one that has joined Cesc Fabregas' men in this season. I will be starting him at left back, but as you can see, age 32, so I probably won't be keeping him for many seasons. Varane, as mentioned, he has retired in real life now, but he is still in the game on FC25, so I will be using him for as long as I can. We've also got Maximo Perone on loan from Man City, which he looks like a really good player. He'll be playing in that centre mid row, I'm sure. Theo Laporte is a youth player that I have promoted to the first team squad. And I will be sending him straight out on loan because he needs to develop and he probably won't get a start for us now. But he is overall 61, which is really promising. Hopefully in a few seasons time after he's had some loan experience, he can actually be involved in the first team. We have one of the veteran strikers in Serie A football in Belotti, who's going to be playing alongside Patrick Catrone, the captain for Como. So overall, there's actually quite a lot of good players in here. I have listed a lot of players who are just not going to feature for me. And we do need to try and build up some transfer budget to try and sign some players. So I'm going to go and make some player sales and hopefully we can build up enough budget to try and bring in a couple of new players for Season 1. As you can see, guys, we have been busy with outgoings in Season 1, trying to generate a lot of money to be able to bring in some new players to this Como side. And with all those player sales that you just saw, we have now accumulated up to £18 million for this current budget which we are going to go and use to find a new striker and center attacker mid. The striker is more of a backup option to Belotti and Catrone, whereas the center attacker mid is probably going to be a first choice on the team sheet. The first signing of the Como era has arrived. Michael Folorunsho has come in from Napoli for £7.5 million. He is going to be going into our centre attacking mid role in behind Catrone and Bellotti. 26 years old, £7.5 million paid. I think it's a really, really good bit of business. And it also allows us to be able to spend more money in other areas that we need. We have now made our backup signing striker and it's none other than Divock Origi. Origi has joined from Milan for a £2 million fee. And like I did mention, he is going to be our backup, 29 years old, to Catrone and Bellotti. I think I needed a new striker to be the backup. And he is the latest addition to this Como side. Samuel Gustafsson has come in from a free agent. I needed a new CDM for the coverage because obviously the squads were selling a lot of players that weren't in the positions. Squad depth did kind of go down and CDM was kind of one of the positions that I needed. So he will come in as one of our backup players. I mean, a great addition for a season or two as a free agent and we also can sell him on if we need to if he doesn't perform well because he's valued at 4.1 million this will be the lineup for season one we've got Pepe Reina, Sergio Roberto, Varane, Dosena, Moreno as the back line Gustafsson the new signing in CDM with Perone, De Cunha and also Bolo Runcho as the new signing in central attacking midfield and Balotti and Catroni are the two strikers up top Origi will make the bench and that is going to be the 
line up for season one with Como. So without further ado, let's start this rebuild and go into season one with Como. The end of season one is here. And as you can see, Como have finished 12th in the Serie A. Now I'm actually not too disappointed of that because obviously we have stayed up in the Serie A for next season. Finishing on 47 points, won 12, drew 11 and lost 15 games. Now that's not a bad return for Como in the first season back in the Serie A. Unfortunately, we did get knocked out in the round two of the Coppa Italia, which obviously is not what you want to see. So hopefully we can improve on that next season. Going back to finishing 12th, I think that is a reasonable effort. I think we've got to try and sign some players to bring in some better quality so we can try and climb that table. Because as you can see, we were quite some distance away from the top six. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight in to season two. We are in the swing of things in season two. And as you can see on the screen, guys, we have got a lot of outgoings. We needed to raise some funds. And a lot of these players were on loan last season, so they didn't even play for us. We've raised nearly £15 million pounds worth of players on. We've raised about £15 million pounds worth of players going out. Theo Laporte, our youth player, has gone on loan to West Brom for another season. I think he needs another loan before he comes back and plays for us. So West Brom in the championship is a great loan. And now if we look at our current transfer budget, we're now up to £26 million. And with Pepe Reina retiring at the end of last season, we need to go out and get ourselves a goalkeeper. So with £26 million, I think we'll be able to go get a goalkeeper and also another squad player to add to the current team. Like I said, we did need the goalkeeper and I've gone out and signed Gavin Bazunu from Southampton. We have signed him for an 8.5 million transfer fees, 23 years of age, 75 overall. He will be going in to our starting lineup and that will cross off the goalkeeper that we did need to buy. And we still have £17 million to spend, so we could potentially go out and get two more players. We have our next signing coming into Como for Season 2. It is going to be a new holding midfield player. By the name of Wouterberger, 5.5 million pound from Stoke City in the championship. Once again, going in and raiding the championship. Overall 75, 24 years of age, 75 overall, 5.5 million pounds spent. I think he's going to be a really good addition and a good replacement for Gustafsson. We still have a little bit of money left in the bank. I'm hoping I can bring in one more squad player just so we can bolster that squad to go into season two. We have gone and picked ourselves up a free agent, Igor Martins from the free agent list. I did have a little look at him and I thought, you know what? He's 90. 19, 70 overall Brazilian. I think what my plan is, we're going to sign him, which we have done, and I'm going to loan him straight out for one season just so he can get some first team minutes. With Sergio Roberto retiring at the end of the season, with Sergio Roberto retiring at the end of this season, thought it would be a good idea to bring in a new right back, and that is what we have done. Welcome new signing, Ricardo Cruz from Sevilla. 3.1 million pounds spent on this young, highly rated right back. Age 19, 72 overall, 3.1 million from Sevilla. I think it's a really good pickup. Obviously, he won't be going straight into the team. Roberto will have his last season with us before he retires. And then we will use Cruz next season. I think it's a really, really good early pickup. And the final signing for season two is here. And as you can see on the screen, Chong has joined us from Luton Town for £3.5 million. I think it's a really good squad rotational player to pick up because £3.5 million spent, 25 years old, 73 overall. I think he will really, really help us. With the amount of games that we do have, I think he's a really good pickup. Up. and he will be the final signing of season two we're really busy in the transfer window with a lot of outgoings and a lot of ingoings and he will be the final transfer of season two we were very busy with a lot of outgoings and a lot of incomings as well so we've bolstered the squad so can we improve on last season's finish before we get into season two this will be the lineup for the season i really think we can improve on our finish from last season with this squad and with the additions of Berger in midfield, Azunu in the net, and Chong and Cruz helping us from the bench, I really think we could push on from last season's finish. Obviously, we've still got the likes of Varane, Moreno. Sergio Roberto is retiring at the end of the season. We can still trust Catroni and Belotti up top to get us the goals. So without further ado, let's dive in to Season 2 and see where we finish. So then, guys, we have come to the end of Season 2, and Como have finished 10th. It's an improvement from last season, I can't lie. Obviously, finishing higher... And we finished in the top 10, which is great to see. Obviously, the additions of some players have really helped us here. Obviously, finishing 10th, I think, is a really good start. And you can see we're starting to slowly creep up with the top nine teams in terms of points. 
Oh, wow, guys. Another disappointing run in the Coppa Italia. We didn't even make it past the first round. But Lotti and Catrone getting the goals for us once again. Really, really dangerous duo up top. But Lotti is now 32, so I may go out and look to gut. So I may go out and look to get a new striker to replace him up top and then drop him to the bench. But I mean, he is scoring goals for us, so... I mean, I may as well just keep him up top. Follow on show again, proving why I bought him 12 goals and 8 assists. Chong getting 5 goals and 3 assists in his first season with us. Really happy with that. Berger also getting 3 goals and 3 assists. So overall, the goals and assists for Como in Season 2 have kind of, you know, spread across a few different players, which is good to see. However, we do have a... However, we do... However, we have finished 10th and we need to keep pushing up that league table. So, without further ado, we're going to dive into Season 3 and see if we can try and get into a European position. It's a sad way to start Season 3, but unfortunately, we have decided to sell Raphael Varane. We have sold him for £13 million because he was going down in the ratings now. And for a 33-year-old who's losing his stats, losing his pace and his overall rating, I think £13 million is an absolute steal. And it gives us a lot of transfer budget to go out and buy some other players. The first signing of Season 3 is here and it is a centre-back from Barcelona. Salazar for £4.3 million. The 18-year-old is coming in to replace Varane who was 33 and we did have to sell him. I mean, I'm never going to turn down 30 million for a 33 year old so Salazar will be playing for us 74 overall really like the look of him only 18 years old and we've only spent 4.3 million we've got a lot of money left in the transfer budget so I will be going out and signing a few more players to bolster this squad we have made our first massive signing Omega is coming in from Strasbourg he will be replacing Belotti up top and playing up front with Catrone I think Belotti is going to drop to the bench I think he's just not going to quite cut it for us this season and I think he's just going to be a really good squad rotational player but Omega comes in for 16.8 million pounds the most money we've spent on one player so far in this Como rebuild I'm really excited to use this player I think he's a really really good addition and we've still got a little bit left in the transfer budget so I'm going to try and hopefully sign two more players to fix this squad I've just signed a new center back to go with the other one we just bought Salazar Conti from Fiorentina for 7.6 million pounds and as you can see look at that the center back pairing 75 and 74 overalls both 19 and 18 I mean, that is really, really promising. Really youthful centre-back pairing are going to go straight into the starting 11 for us. And with £7.6 million being spent on him, I think we have just enough to get one more transfer. So then, guys, I was going to make one more signing, but having looked at the team, I really don't think we need to make any more purchases. Odero is in goal now for this season. He's gone up to an 80 rated. He's 29 years of age. I do think we're just going to put him instead of Bazunu for this season, just because he is up to an 80 rated now and only 29 years old. We've got Cruz at right back. Obviously, Sergio Roberto has retired now, so he will be coming in to replace him. And what a player he looks, by the way. 20 years of age, and he's already up to a 73. The new centre-back pairing that I did sign, Conti and Salazar, are going straight into the starting 11. 74 and 75 overalls, respectively. Really, really good pairing there. Moreno is 34 and retiring at the end of the season. I think I might actually go out and try and buy a left-back to replace him because he is 34, and look at his rating now. He's gone down to a 70. We've still got Berger in the midfield. Field. He had a really good season for us. We've still got Berger in the midfield. He had a really good season last year. And I've actually brought in Martins, the young Brazilian that we did buy on a free agent last season. We loaned him out and he already went up two ratings. So he looks really, really promising. So I'm just going to give a minute straight away. And we have Omega, the new signing up top with the captain Patrick Catrone, the goal scorer for us last season, as well as Belotti, who is now on the bench. And as you can see, our bench is actually quite stacked now. Paz, Chong, Salah, Gustafsson and Laporte. Obviously, this is the one that we did sign from our youth academy in the first season. He has come back now. I'm going to change him to a CDM in the development plan and then try and get him some minutes this season. So hopefully he can actually be one of our starting CDMs or as the seasons go on. And I'm really happy with this team right now. So hopefully we can try and go out there in season three and try and finish within the top 10. Obviously, we finished 10th last season, which was a really good improvement from season one. Without further ado, guys, let's go into season three and see where we end up. Before we do jump into season three, I did change my mind. I did go out and sign a new left back. I really did think we were going to be all right with the squad we had, but then I had a look at the team sheet and Moreno's rating is 
dramatically falling. So we went out and got ourselves a new young left back, David Santos from Athletic Club. For £6.9 million, pounds, that is the transfer budget completely spent now. And we have signed a lot of young talent to bring into Como, to bring into the future of this club. Now, obviously, they probably won't like start off really well in the first season together. But I really think he is a great addition to our back line. And he is going to be the last signing of this transfer window. So we are going to dive straight into season three now and see where Como can finish in the Serie A. So then, guys, Como have finished 10th for the second season running. Now, it is a bit disappointing because I really did think we had the squad to bolster our position in the league table. But when you actually look at the league table here, we finished on 54 points and Torino finished on 55, Napoli 56, Genoa 58, Fiorentina on 62. So we weren't really that far away from getting a higher finish, if I'm being totally honest. So there's definitely improvements to be made for Como. Probably a couple more squad signings, I think. Obviously, the young players that we did sign, they've had a good first season together, finishing 10th once again. And we actually made it to the round of 16 in the Coppa Italia, but unfortunately, we lost out 2-1 to Roma, which is quite unfortunate, but it's an improvement we finally got to the round of 16 we didn't get knocked out in the first or second round so that does make a change and a big difference to Como I did want to go and see the stats of the season and Patrick Cotrone once again 16 goals seven assists really really good to see Chong as well getting seven goals Belotti six Omega the new signing only five goals which is a bit disappointing if I'm being totally honest Roller run show again 44 games played 10 goals five assists 81 overall now he's really really turning into a good player for us so that concludes season three and and unfortunately, obviously, we didn't really climb up the table. But I think there's going to be some improvements next season. I really do think we're going to push for that top six or top seven position. Without further ado, let's dive in to season four. Into season four we go. And as you can see, we have been very, very busy in the transfer window. Danilo has come in for £19.5 million. He is going to be our new CDM or one of the new CDMs that will be playing alongside. That will be playing alongside Berger. I think he's a really good addition. 80 overall. Tom Cannon comes in from Leicester for £6 million. He's going to be a backup striker for us hopefully in the coming seasons he can provide some goals for us off the bench or rotational into the first team joshua martens was the next player we signed a backup right back he's only 19 free agent i thought you know what i need another right back didn't really have much money left so i turned to the free agents and then as you can see we got a lot of players leaving unfortunately belotti did depart for 2.5 million because he is just going down in the ratings and he was i mean he looked really really bad so that is the reason why i sold him he was really good for us scoring a lot of goals Goals. We have moved on into someone younger in Tom Cannon who has replaced him. Overall, we've spent quite a lot of money, but I feel like these three additions are going to help boost the squad. So without further ado, we're going to go show you the squad for Season 4. I've made a couple of changes to this starting 11. Banzunu comes back in. Cruz, Conti, and then Dosena has come back into the starting 11. Santos at left back. Berger, Danilo in the middle. Chong is another one that has come into the side. Troni, Omega are still there. And Folorunchu is still there as well. Cannon on the bench, obviously. Uh, Dacuna, Martin. Paz, Salazar, Martens, Laporte and Salah are also there as well so we have got a decent squad depth now so I really do think we can try and push on and try and finish in the top I, I want to say top seven that is the goal for this season to finish in the top seven so without further ado let's dive in to season four and would you look at that guys Como have finished sixth in the Syria finishing on a total of 68 points only one point behind fifth place which is really good to see we have managed to get ourselves a con Conference League spot next season, so Como will be playing European football next season. And unfortunately, we got knocked out by Napoli 2-1 in the round of 16. That is back-to-back -back seasons where we have got knocked out in the round of 16 of the Coppa Italia. But we have finished 6th in the league, which is absolutely buzzing. After finishing 10th two seasons in a row, it's really refreshing to see us finally step up and get into this top half of the table. And now we've also got that Conference League qualification spot. So it'll be interesting to see if we can qualify for that next season once we have to play the qualifying round but overall i am absolutely buzzing with this season we've done really really well and i will take sixth place and as you can see Catroni once again 25 league goals or 25 goals overall he's had an absolutely amazing season omega that is a much more improved season with 12 goals and 10 assists and then the likes of chong martins all or both getting six goals this season i'm really really happy with the progression of the squad obviously patrick Catroni is 30 now so he is getting a little bit older but i still 
reckon I've got at least one or two seasons in him. But overall, this squad has done really well this season. And without further ado, we're going to go straight into Season 5. The first signing of Season 5 is here for Como. And I have decided to go out and get a free agent, a holding midfielder by the name of Colin. For a fee of £0, he has come from a free agent. And I mean, I just looked at him and he looks so good. He's already 79 overall as an 18-year-old. He's valued at £26.5 million. I just think he's a really good addition to the team. The, the market value alone says it all of how good he is. And he's going to come straight into the lineup and play for us in that holding midfield role. We have made a massive transfer in the striker position. Johan Bonny has come to Como from Aston Villa. We've actually paid £10 million pounds plus one of our attacking midfielders. Unfortunately, he goes the other way. Bolo Runcho. Unfortunately, he has been sacrificed plus £10 million pounds for him. I just feel like he's coming to the end of his time at Como and I thought I may as well cash in while I can and bring in an absolute beast of a striker. 88 pace, 82 shooting and 82 dribbling for a 24-year-old 83 overall. And he will probably play alongside Catroni for the season, but I think he is going to be replacing Catroni going forward as he is getting old now but he's still scoring the goals so I could probably see him being here for another season or two but that is the latest signing for Como we've still got a lot of money in the bank so we're going to go out there and try and sign some more players Medina is the latest player to join Como and Salah has gone the other way to Crystal Palace in a swap deal with a transfer fee of 3.8 million and Marco Salah going to Crystal Palace I just think it's an absolutely great bit of business because Medina is only 23 years old 91 pace and Salah was coming to the end of his time with us he was getting old he was the backup left back he didn't really play but Medina can really challenge our left back who is there now so it's going to be a good rotational option to have at the club we have signed another central attacking midfielder in Carney Chukwemeka from Chelsea the highly rated player is coming in to play for us in the center attacking mid role I really think he is a really really high prospect especially in real life as well and for a free of 26.2 million pounds he comes from Chelsea 82 overall 24 years of age he's going to go straight into the lineup and I think we've really made some good signings so far in this window to help bolster this squad especially if you want to try and get into the conference league so there we have it guys this is going to be your team for season five I think this is a really really big improvement Azunu is still in goal. He's up to a 77 overall now, age 26. Cruz, Conti, Salazar and Santos, the young backline, 20 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old and 22. An outstanding backline for the age, average age there. Danilo, again, he's been solid for us since he's joined. Colin comes in, the 18-year-old, slots straight into that CDM role. And Martins, this young Brazilian that we got on a free agent, he's looking really, really good. Only age 22 and he's going up the ratings very, very fast. Carney Chukwemeka comes in straight into that center attacker mid role. I think he's going to be a really good addition to this squad. Omega and Bonnie are up top. I think that's a deadly duo. Unfortunately, that does mean Patrick Catrone does go to the bench, but I think he's going to be a real asset to us as he has been already in this rebuild. We still got that as a cannon, Paz, Chong, the center. Berger all on the bench and Medina the new signing is also on the bench I don't think I'm going to start him just yet I feel like Santos is doing really well and improving I don't really want to take him out of the team just yet so without further ado that is going to be our lineup for season five I'm hoping we can try and qualify for the conference league in the qualifying uh in the qualifying game that we do need to play before the season starts and hopefully we can try and push ourselves up that league table once again and try and finish in that top four spot to get that Champions League football Fortunately, guys, we have finished 12th in the league. Como have gone straight back down in terms of the league table. Really disappointing finish. 12th with, 12th with 44 points. I mean, we nearly finished like 16th, which is really, really bad. I think this is going to be a season to forget. I think we need to bounce back and hopefully push on like we did last season into season 6. Once again, we got knocked out of the round of 16 in the Coppa Italia, losing 2-1 to Fiorentina. And we actually had our first bit of and we actually had our first bit of European football. As you can see, we actually qualified for the Europa League. I thought it was the Conference League, judging by the league table last season, but clearly not. We actually lost out all three on aggregate to hearts. Wow, that is very, very disappointing. But then we would have played Man City in the next round. So I mean it, so, I mean it's one of them. We probably would have lost anyway. But the round of 16 in the first European taste. So we crash out in the round of 16 in the Europa League for our first European taster. Unfortunately, no European football next season, so we're going to try and really go for that League Cup title. 
in the Coppa Italia and hopefully have a top half finish once again. As you can see, the stats for season five, Chukwameka, Bonnie and Medina. Wow, 12 goals from left back. That was really, really good to see. But overall, there actually were some really nice stats here. Bonnie there with 19 goals, 14 assists. Chukwameka with 12 goals, 6 assists. Some really good performances, but an unfortunate season for Como is definitely one to forget. So without further ado, we're going to dive straight into season six and hopefully try and climb that table once again. The season six transfer window has now closed. And as you can see, guys, we have been very, very busy in terms of the outgoings. There were a lot of unhappy players that wanted to leave, and I don't blame them. After last season, we finished 12th. A couple of rotational squad players here didn't really get into the team. Chong has decided to leave. He did hand in a transfer request. Berger, I did get this deal done in the latter stages of the transfer window. I was going to keep him. He was going to be our captain and starting as holding midfielder next to Danilo but 31 million from Liverpool I had to take the offer up he is 29 years old now and I thought it was just a great offer I couldn't refuse Colin unfortunately the free agent that we signed did want to leave as you can see 32 and a half million pounds to Lazio I mean that's a really really good transfer fee for someone that only was here for a season Salazar unfortunately wanted to leave as well he was only a backup centre back in the end for 13 and a half million to Ipswich and that's where we start spending what we just sold and Gustavo Saar was the first player we signed from St Etienne 40 million pounds he looks like a really really good center attacker mid and he will be linking up alongside Chukwameka in the starting 11 now this is one which might throw people off here 15 million pounds he's gonna play right back I'm literally gonna bring him in for one season to just bolster this squad and have a bit of experience in that back line because obviously a lot of the back line are just like 20 and 21 year olds he's only come in I'll probably get one season out of him maybe two at a push and then Leandro Sommer is coming in to play left center back for us 24.3 million pounds from sporting and Matteo Prati he is also come in from the Premier League from Tottenham 36 million pounds he looks like a really good player and he will actually be replacing Berger in that center mid role and there we have the team for season six now I'm really happy with this team we made some massive improvements as you can see the Bazunu is still in goal Kimmich coming in for that experience at right back for probably one season Conti keeps his place he's been really solid for us Sommer comes in play left center back I've actually decided to put Medina in because he scored like nearly what 12 13 goals last season and he wasn't even starting for us so I mean talk about an impact sub he actually has deserved his chance Ratti the new signing has come into the holding midfield role next to Danilo who is now the captain Chukwameka is still there 84 overall now he looks really really good and Gustavo Saar has come in to play alongside him on the left hand side really like the look of him and I think he's gonna be a top player for us Bonnie absolutely smashing up Bonnie absolutely smashing it for us in the striker position a lot of goals last season and alongside him is Omega still hasn't really impressed me as much as I thought he would he still looks like a really solid player we still have Cannon, Catrone, Paz, Martins, Osena, Santos, Cruz and our youth academy player Laporte on the bench we've still got a really really good squad set up here and I'm really hoping we can try and get into the top six once again so we can re-qualify for European football so without further ado let's jump into season six that is the end of season seven as you can see Como have finished seventh in the Serie A only one point behind Roma in six it's a really really big improvement from last season finishing 12th and I do believe that will give us Europa League comp and I do believe that will give us conference league next season because we finished sixth the season before and we got Europa League where I thought we had Conference League but I'm hoping this time round we do get that Conference League spot and look at that guys we got knocked out in round one of the Coppa Italia that is not what you want to see and I mean look at these stats absolutely insane Bonnie with 24 goals 16 assists and they go with a massive improvement 22 goals and 9 assists and Chuck Wameka with 19 goals and 8 assists from centre attack midfield really really nice to see Gustavo Saar the new signing only managing five goals and two assists which is not too bad for his debut season hopefully next season he can improve so overall I'm really really happy with that Bonnie up to an 86 rated and 79 for Omega and 85 for Triple Mecca I think we can really really push on from this season and use the momentum to get into that top four spot in the league but we do need a couple more signings though so without further ado we're gonna go straight in to the season seven transfer window so then guys season seven has started and as you can see we have brought in a new player he is going to be our new goalkeeper for season seven and como have decided to bring in james beadle from getafe and we have sent arudo to 
Getafe as well with a loan, well, not a loan, a swap deal, and for a swap deal with a transfer fee of also around 17.5 million pounds. Young keeper, 81 overall. He will replace Bazunu. He is, just hasn't really improved over the couple of seasons. I thought he was going to do really well for us. Bida will come in, 25 years of age, 81 overall. He will be our number one goalkeeper for season seven. The second signing of season seven sees us buy a new right back. 16.5 million spent from Fulham. Corbaini has come in the belgian right back is going to be replacing cruz obviously cruz is now 75 overall but he hasn't really changed for the past four seasons if i'm being honest and he's just going to be become the backup now because i'm not really impressed with him at all and with kimmich retiring at the end of the season i really do think this is a good time to bring in someone a bit younger so kobani is going to be coming in and playing in that right back spot we have spent quite a lot of money already and i think that's probably going to be it for transfers in season seven nice quick done deal in terms of the transfers for us not really going to be going out and getting anyone else i'm actually really happy with the way the team's been building at the moment so going into season seven this is what the team is going to be looking like i'm really really happy new goalkeeper beetle is going to be in goal Bani a right back looks really really solid to be honest with you conti again only 23 still 79 overall i'm sure he's going to keep get climbing up the ratings the more he plays somewhere he's been really solid already up to an 80 medina at left back really really happy with him he's still improving a lot Pratty in the middle 26 years old already an 85 rated since he's joined us he's gone up two ratings he's been so good for us danilo age 29 still the captain still one of our best players been really really happy with him holding down the midfield carney chupameka has really stood out for me in this rebuild with como age 26 now and he's 85 overall he's absolutely smashing it for us gustavo Sar didn't really have the best of first seasons with us but to be honest with you he's only 25 years old he's probably got a couple more seasons before he really kick starts his career with como bonnie up top i mean look at that 91 pace 26 years old 86 shooting 84 dribbling he's 86 overall now absolutely insane player up front for us Omega he's one of them where like he plays well with Bonnie up top but I mean he doesn't he hasn't really stood out too much and he is 27 now and he hasn't really gone up the ratings as much and he hasn't really gone up the ratings as much as I thought he would 79 overall we could potentially look at replacing him next season but that is going to be your team for season 7 I really hope we can try and get in that top 4 spot this season I really think we can with the likes of some of these players like Chupameka, Pratty in the middle and obviously Bonnie up top. I think we've got a real good chance of competing with that top four in the Serie A and hopefully we can try and go on a little cup run this season. Without further ado, let's dive in to season seven. We've come to the end of season seven. As you can see, Como have finished seven. 60 points for the season. I mean, it's not a terrible finish. We will be getting Conference League football once again, unless we did, of course, win the Conference League. Now, I'm actually not too disappointed with that. I think we've really improved over the last two seasons, finishing in the top 10 twice twice now which is really good to see and unfortunately we got knocked out of the round of 16 by Lazio 5-2 they absolutely battered us in the round of 16 of the Coppa Italia and Como have won their first trophy in this rebuild we beat Crystal Palace 2-1 in the Europa Conference League final an absolutely outstanding achievement from Como it does see us win our first trophy of this rebuild it has taken us seven seasons but you know what we have been doing a lot of squad building and I feel like this squad is really, really gelling together. We've won the Conference League. The next aims are going to be the Europa League, the Coppa Italia, of course, the Serie A title, which I think we're a couple of seasons away, if I'm being honest. And then, of course, hopefully, we can try and get to that Champions League trophy further down the line. A massive achievement for Como. We are kicking off Season 8 with a new signing. It's going to be a new striker. Rodney Janssen is joining Como for £26.5 million from Leipzig. He will be joining Bonnie up top. As you can see there, Janssen, 24 years of age, 82 overall in with Bonnie and that front four is looking really really nice Trotmecker up to an 86 Saar up to an 84 Pratty up to an 86 as well our team is looking very very good guys oh my god guys we have made an absolutely insane sale 210 million pound is coming into Como as you saw before 210 million pounds is coming into Como and I can't believe I think that's the biggest sale I've ever had in any career mode I've ever done but we have had to sacrifice Bonnie to Arsenal for 210 million I think that's just an offer we couldn't refuse 210 million is absolutely insane and i can use that money to bolster the whole squad across every position i know he literally is our star player but i mean 210 million is an absolutely insane amount of money we have gone out and used some of this money straight away on a new center back is none other than ricardo calafori 
from Monaco for £32.5 million. An absolutely insane player, 84 overall, 29 years of age. He's going to definitely do us a job for the next couple of seasons, even though he is 29. I really think he is a really good centre-back. Him and Sommer are going to be really, really good together. We have made a massive, massive signing to replace Bonnie up front. It is a wonder kid from Spurs. He is coming in at around £105 million. And it is Maric, the striker, 105 million pounds we paid for him 24 years of age 87 rated he is going to be our main man 92 pace 90 shooting i mean this kid looks absolutely insane a massive massive transfer fee but that does leave us with a lot of budget left i think i'm going to go after a brand new keeper i told you we wanted to go and get a brand new keeper and i have done so we have signed a massive keeper a very highly rated a very highly rated keeper across all fifas in the past few years it is none other than diogo costa from aston villa for 61 point two million pounds he is 31 years old he's in his prime years he's we've got at least two or three seasons out of him so i'm happy to pay 60 million and that concludes the transfer window for season eight as you can see guys we obviously sold bonnie for 210 million pounds which i think is absolutely insane but we sold one player this season and we've brought in four so i mean even though he was a star player and he was absolutely insane for us i can't complain we're bringing in four world-class players jansen califori marich for 105 million to replace bonnie and diogo costa to go in goal that really sets us up for a strong season obviously we are back in the europa league looking to revenge ourselves from the last time we were in the europa league where we didn't really get anywhere other than the round of 16 and i'm really going to try and push for the top four that finished this season i really think this squad is going to be good enough this will be our starting 11 for season eight and it is absolutely insane poster in goal Bani adds right back still. Calafiori comes into the centre back position alongside Sommer. Medina is still there at left back. Really, really happy with the way he's progressing. Prati, Danilo, Chukwameka, and Saar are still here in the lineup. We, I mean, they are just doing really, really well. And the two new boys, Jansen and Maric, come into the lineup. I'm really, really excited to see what these two can do for us this season. I'm hoping they can try and win us as many trophies this season. I really want to try and get the domestic league trophy this season and try and have a good run in the Europa League. And also our league form needs to improve slightly. I'm really hoping to try and get in that top four. And on paper, this squad is definitely good enough. Without further ado, let's dive into season eight. We're now at the end of season eight and Como have finished second. 10 points behind Juventus who won the Serie A title, which is really unfortunate, but a massive improvement from last season we have finished second i did want a top four finish and we got one i'm really really happy with the way we have finished second this season homo 23 wins nine draws and six losses across the season and we finally managed to win the coppa italia one nil against juventus first time in this rebuild we have won the coppa italia absolutely amazing oh no way we've also won the europa league 4-2 against west ham that's two two european trophies in two seasons we won the conference league and the Europa League now, which does mean we will be qualifying for the Champions League next season. And that is the big one. We really want to try and get that Champions League trophy for Como. An absolutely insane season for Marich. 39 goals and 15 assists. That is an absolutely incredible return for the new man. Definitely worth the £105 million. Jansen as well, 51 games, 22 goals. Really, really happy with that. And Chukwameka as well, 61 games. And look at that return, 16 goals and 24 assists. Assists. he's now an 88 overall i'm absolutely buzzing with that we've had an absolutely insane season two trophies two of the trophies that we haven't obviously won already so i'm really happy with that a second place finish our best finish in the Serie A so far we're gonna head into season nine now with one goal in mind we want to win the league and we want to win that champions league we head into season nine and we have made an absolutely insane signing 93 million pounds has been spent on this player we decided to get a new center attacking midfielder for como and that is none other than Polo Kaya from Lens at 93 million 25 years old him and Chukwameka are going to be the two center attacking midfielders for the season both 88 rated absolutely insane players I feel I felt like a, this is going to be the lineup for season nine Costa in goal we've got the same back line as last season Bratty and Danilo in the midfield Chukwameka and the new signing Kaya at center attacking midfield Maric and Jansen up top really really happy with the way they performed last season and I think this squad is really really good and I hope we can try and compete in the Champions league this season we're not going to sell anyone and that is the only signing we're going to make in kaya i feel like we don't need to make many more signings when you look at this team so without further ado we're going to head into season nine now with como in this rebuild a really really long grind but i think it's gonna be worth it once we try and get a champions league and
and Syria trophy. Without further ado, let's jump in to season nine. For the first time in this Como rebuild, we have won the Syria title. An absolutely amazing season for Como with 28 wins and only five losses, finishing on a total of 89 points. That's really, really good. We've finally achieved the Serie A title. We actually beat Napoli in the, the Super Cup as well, 2-0. So that's another trophy to add to the collection. That's two trophies this season already. Unfortunately, we did get knocked out by Juventus in the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. There's no treble there for us in terms of domestic league. So no treble for us with the Coppa Italia. But, all but the all-important question is, have we managed to reach the Champions League final? Wow, we've actually also won the UEFA Super Cup. So we won the Italian Super Cup by the looks of it. And then we've also won the UEFA Super Cup. So that's three trophies already for this season. But the all-important question is, did we get to that Champions League final? And we did. We are going to play Juventus. Wow, what a, wow, what a game that's going to be because they actually finished second in the league and we beat them just by a couple of points. The Juventus versus Como 1907 in the UEFA Champions League final, May 28th, 2033. And I'm really excited for this one. I really do think we've got a great chance to beat Juventus here. Some of the players we have in this squad now are really, really good. But without further ado, I'm going to dive straight in to the squad that is going to take us to the Champions League final. Before we do get into the Champions League final, look at some of these stats, by the way. Maric with 35 goals, 15 assists. Janssen with 30 goals, 14 assists. Those two strikers up front for us this season have been absolutely insane. Trouton Mecca with 22 goals, 7 assists. He's 90 overall now, 62 games played. Been an absolute beast for us. Probably one of the favourite signings that I've made on this save. Really impressed with him. And then Polo Kaya, the new player that we did sign this season. 62 games as well. 14 goals and 14 assists. These front four have been absolutely bossing it for us. I'm really, really happy with the way they've turned out. But they've got one more job to do in the Champions League final against Juventus. Here, come Mar Here comes Maric. Plays it into Chukwemeka. Oh, that's a great first touch. Chukwemeka. Oh, that's a great save by the keeper. It's a corner kick for Como. Early yellow card for Juventus as well. Then Lillo is going to be on this ball. Can he get a good ball into the box? It's a great cross. Oh, we've headed it over with Maric. Then Lillo wins the ball. Chukwemeka now. Janssen is on the ball. Janssen's charging through. He plays in. Maric. Cuts inside. Maric. Oh, that's lovely. Maric! What an insane goal that is from an insane player. Absolutely insane strength to get past both players and barge Weyer off the ball. And he drills it into the back of the net. The keeper was never saving that. What a finish. And he puts Como 1-0 up in this Champions League final. Janssen now on the ball. Can he find Chukwemeka on this right-hand side? He's going to go back to Prati. Who finds Kaya. Played in. Oh, that's a great attempt. Unfortunately, he just goes wide. All played through to Maric. Oh, he just goes past the defender like he's not even there. Kaya gets the shot. Oh, it's a terrible effort. Janssen's picked up the ball. Janssen, can he play Chukwemeka? Chukwemeka. Oh, it's saved. We just couldn't get enough power on it. Here come Juventus now. Only five or so minutes left or under that now. Carvajal. Calafuri misses the tackle. So does Sommer. It's a great save by Costa. Really, really good save. And we clear our lines. There's minutes left. Seconds left now for Como to win the Champions League. I mean, it's been an ugly game. We've only scored the one goal. And we've won it. Como have won the Champions League for the first time in this rebuild. Absolutely amazing stuff. It was a grind to get that game done because we only scored the one goal. We had a lot of chances in the first half. Second half, we just had to defend. Juventus had a lot of possession, but they just didn't do anything with it. And that gives Como the Champions League trophy. We've won the Serie A, the Champions League, UEFA, Europa League, Conference League, Coppa Italia, Super Cup, and the UEFA Super Cup. We've won it all with Como. It's been an absolutely amazing rebuild. I've really, really enjoyed this one. Standout players, Chorameka, Maric up top, Danilo in the midfield. And the boys have grinded out a 1-0 win against Juventus. Juventus falling short to us in the league as well. And Danilo, the captain, he's been here for a very long time. This must be about at least five, six seasons now. But Como, 1907, are the Champions League winners. And that will be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this rebuild. Because I did. It was really, really fun to do. Really, some really good players turned out in the end of this Como save. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like. Comment any teams you would like me to rebuild in future videos. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.